So in today's video, we're talking about the secret to incredibly realistic graffiti on your model trains. Why? Because they make it like that. So let's just face it, every model railroad needs graffiti if you're modeling a modern era. Even if you're modeling transitional era, you still get those chalk doodles, you still get Kilroy was here, all these different things, but the one thing that they have in common is that if they're done by a miniature person, they're gonna have miniature details, and you're not miniature. So how are you gonna pull that off? Well, today I'm gonna show you. I have been doing graffiti on model trains for 14 years, and I still feel brand new, because every single time I work on something, I try something new. So I have compiled a list of techniques that will make your model train graffiti as realistic as possible. So let's talk about it. One of the hardest things to do in model train graffiti is getting fine lines. When a graffiti artist in the real world outlines a piece, they are using just a spray can. They're not using great big wide lines and if you think about a sharpie for example if you magnify that to n scale or ho scale that line is huge <laughs> so one of the things that you really want to try and do is get the thinnest the finest line that you possibly can and i have been struggling with that for 14 years i've tried markers i've tried those micro paint brushes, and I've even tried Sharpies, you know, when they're brand spanking new and the point is still pointy, and uh, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. So something that I've found in the past that did work is ultra fine Sharpies. They're not the regular Sharpies, they're just the fine tip ones that you can get at the dollar store or anywhere else that you can buy any kind of writing utensil. They're very common and they work extremely well, however, on painted surfaces, they're kind of terrible. They work for a minute and then they die and that's super sad. But I've been doing some work on this hopper car and I discovered something that is incredible. Let me show you. So one of the things I've also used is paint markers. But the problem with paint markers again is that you can't find anything thin enough. They don't last very long. Sometimes you can get paint just explode onto the car and it's super sad. So one of the methods you can use is the ultra fine Sharpie. Like I said, I'm not negating the ultra fine Sharpie. They work well. Let me show you. I usually buy them in the two pack from the dollar store and they work extremely well. I can just go in and do my line work on the car and it looks super great and fantastic and wonderful. You can get extremely thin lines on your piece. You can even go in and do a little bit of a tag that says subscribe. And it looks great, look at that. It even works extremely well on end scale. You can go in with the same exact ultra fine Sharpie and you can get exceptionally thin lines on your piece. They're also great for if you're doing dumpsters and you wanna throw a quick little tag on there that says like. They even work really well in N scale. This one can say, well, it doesn't really matter what it says in N scale because nobody's gonna be able to read that anyway, but it works extremely well giving you a nice fine tag on dumpsters, on N scale train cars, HO scale train cars, everything, you name it, it looks great. However, the problem I have with the ultra fine Sharpies is when you start to draw your line work on something you've already painted, especially the acrylic paints, it just doesn't like it. It works, but only for a limited time. It's like, it's like a limited time offer. <laughs> <laughs> and then you end up whipping it over your shoulder and that's the end of that. No more ultra fine Sharpie. That's why I buy them in the two pack. They work, I've been using them for years. I've had excellent results with them, but I've always been trying to find something more. I think I found the answer. I mean, it's, it's still not a hundred percent. However, I'll explain to you the solution in just a second. First, I wanna show you what's going on here. This 
is an old-timey calligraphy pen. Now, obviously, this one I've been using, so it's seen a little bit of wear and tear, but it's incredible. It gives you insanely fine lines. So I bought this in a set. It came with a little bottle of super black calligraphy ink and i thought if i'm only gonna have one ink it's gonna be black and that'll be great and it works you can get incredibly fine lines with it i dipped it in some ink and check this out you just get in there and with a super light touch it takes a second to get the ink flowing but with a super light touch you can go in there and just trace out your lines incredibly fine even finer than the ultra fine sharpie look at the difference and the beauty of it is the harder you press you end up getting yourself some thicker lines and that gives you your 3d effect same thing on end scale look at this just go in with a nice light touch and there you have it super fine lines it even works on painted surfaces like these dumpsters you can do some nice tags but i mean look at this this is end scale you'd have to be insane to do end scale but you can just go in and do a quick little tag in end scale using this calligraphy pen i mean it's illegible but most tags are anyway, because they make it like that. So naturally, once I realized this thing was worth its weight in gold, I went out and got myself a set of 12 different colors of ink from Amazon. I can link it in the description if you'd like. One of them, of course, is black, which I already have, but the array of colors is awesome if you wanna just do some quick tags, or even just outlines that are not always lined in black. That's the thing. Black was always easy because black was readily available. But if you want, you can just use any color and make some super cool looking paint. So I can go in here and I can do a quick little tag here that says soup. And it's super vibrant. Haha, <laughs> super, super vibrant. Can do another one over here that says eggs. Maybe I need to go eat some dinner. I am building an N-scale replica of Oceanwide Plaza in downtown Los Angeles. And today I'm going to, hang on, before I do that, let me finish what I'm doing here. Remember how I said there was, it, it wasn't quite, it wasn't quite right. Let me show you what happens when I use the calligraphy pen on Oceanwide Plaza. So let's go ahead and put down a base color. So the thing that I wanted to show you with the calligraphy pen, I don't even want to show you on this because it's it's looking good so far. So I am going to show you on this one, this one right here that says words. If I get my calligraphy pen out and I just start doing my line work as usual, business as usual, I get a nice line coming out and yeah, it's looking real nice but I'm not doing anything different than I normally would on the other car. And it's gonna make a liar out of me, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so this thing, this, this thing made a liar out of me. Hang on, hang on, let me finish what I was doing. When you paint on the unpainted acrylic, you get way more ink than you could possibly want and it starts to pool and yeah, it looks pretty sharp, but it's hard to see on camera. That's like a bubble of ink. I've had some pieces that I've been working on on my Oceanwide Plaza tower that just got completely sidetracked and I had to just rub it off and start over again. This one's kind of making a liar out of me, but uh, what can I say? What I did want to show you <laughs> before this thing decided to make a liar out of me is that the ultra fine sharpie comes into its own when you start using it on the acrylic it works great and i'll show you right now without this thing making a liar out of me hopefully i can go in with my ultra fine sharpie and i can make some super nice dark lines it might not be as black of a line as the calligraphy pen but i don't run the risk of it flooding my piece and it looks great look at that it looks good Let's go put it on the tower. 
So in reality, there is no secret weapon. You kind of just have to try stuff. And that's exactly what I did in this video. You should check it out. We'll see you in the next one.